right here. Welcome back to Your Daily Zero, the series where we go over your daily zero player games. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. Happy December 9th. It is the 8th that I am recording this on. I recorded today's video two days ago, so the 6th, and I just went to edit it on the 8th because I'm, I've been busy and I just haven't had time and blah, 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 other stuff going on. Long story short, long story short, um, I had the audio off of my voice, actually, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, the audio just was not there, so I didn't know if I should replay the game or not, the same one, but honestly, it's one of those games where I failed very quickly because I didn't realize what I was doing, so I don't play those types of games very often. So, today we're playing the Shrouded Isle, I believe it's called. Yes, the Shrouded Isle, and it... It's a very fun game. You'll see why I like it. I think if you've been a fan of this uh, channel for a while, or even look into the history of the videos a little bit, you'll see why I enjoy this game. It's pretty good. And even watch till the end of this video, you'll see why I like it. But it's a very fun game. I do recommend it. Um, it's it, from every all intents and purposes, this is one of the very uh, a safe game. I did look into the virus thing a little bit about Steam, and it seems like Steam is really good about quality control when it comes to malicious software. But there are still games out there that cause issues, such as Bitcoin mining. There are some programs that will use your computer to mine for Bitcoins uh, and other stuff as well. Uh, there's a lot that, like, again, Steam is a very safe platform, but it has issues, like everything else. There are bad actors. So be careful when you're downloading games. Uh, th these are games that I'm very careful when I, when I look into them and download. I don't choose these games at random. Trust me, I don't. But even still, just be careful. That said, I do recommend this game. I'll just say it right out right now because, again, I played it already. And uh, I wanted to do a little bit of a... It sounds silly to say so, show and tell. I wanted to show you guys something. So if you look here, we have an Edison Gold Molded Records container, Okay. So you're probably looking at this thing and, okay, well, whatever, you know, it's got some, some legal disclaimer stuff on it. I don't know if you can really even read that very well. I need a, I, I kind of need a better camera, but, um, you know, it, it's better than nothing, I will say. Thank you, Mace, again, for the camera for watching this. Uh, it's got a picture of, I believe that is, uh, who's my what's it? Uh, Edison. I don't know. I'm, I'm not quite sure who that is, but it has a picture. Probably Edison, if I had to guess. But the cool thing about this, right, is you look at it and everything else, it's almost like cardboardy. um, do some, do some ASMR. All right, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. I really like it. But um, you know, it's even got like the inside cover is really nice. So this is 1900, I believe 1897 for this one specifically, and this is a wax cylinder record. So for those of you who don't know, the wax cylinder record was pre records. This is what they would make before actual records were common right were were commonplace uh even i have a phonograph in the corner from 1916 uh even the phonograph was at in the gramophone were after these guys now i do not have a wax player one day but this is what they looked like so if you can see i don't know how well the camera will pick this stuff up but there are grooves i i'm sorry to everybody out there who is sensitive about the way people handle mis, you know, historical things, but this is for educational purposes, okay? So if you listen, okay? So there are lines on this, just like a record. And also, FYI, just in case I bothered you, which I would understand and sympathize with, this is a very dirty record, uh, wax cylinder. So it's already a little messed up. But basically, you would just stick it onto the uh, turntable, and it would turn this. There was then a stylus that, as it turned, would play the record. Because, again, it's just like a record. And it would play music. They're made of wax. The inside is almost like a, uh, I'm not real sure what to call it, almost like a hard plastic, like a uh, ceramic plastic kind of, I guess, would be one way to put it. Uh, and, I don't know, I just thought it was pretty cool. I'm, I'm a huge history buff. I love history. I love old Americana, especially. I've got my w walls lined with 48-star flags, and I'm kind of waiting on a 49-star flag as well. I love old American history, and especially, like, this old turn-of-the-century, post-industrial revolution, industrial revolution stuff. So, I just wanted to kind of show this off a little bit. Thanks for sticking with me if you watched this far. Uh, look them up. Look up Black Cylinder Records. They're really cool. They're one of my favorite pieces of musical history i i think they're just the the technology required to make these things is just unbelievable it really is but i digress um i'd be happy to do this 
every day, kind of. I do have some artifacts around my room, as it is, let alone around the house, from really old, old stuff. That's pretty cool. Because, um, again, I'm, I'm a huge collector. I love restoring and bringing things back to a nice place, stuff like that. So let me know if you guys are interested in any of that stuff. I would love to do this every day. And, of course, I should have said at the beginning, whatever, I'll put text up. But you're also always welcome to skip these intros because they know they can get pretty lengthy, especially when I'm doing stuff like this. So... Anyway, with almost five minutes in at this point, thank you guys for looking at that. Look at Black Cylinder Records. Pretty darn cool. And we are going to jump right into the game now. And the game that we're playing is A Shadow Dial. Again, I already played it. I'm sorry I played it three days ago. But I didn't have my voice being captured on the uh, audio. So, my bad. But anyways, thank you guys. And let's jump right into the game. Here we go. Alright, so this is The Shrouded Isle. And this is one of those, I guess you would call it like a political, uh, something game where it, you have to like keep things happy, I guess would be a way to put it. I'll show you what I mean. So start a new game. 495 years ago, our founders saw that humanity would perish except the worthy. Our Lord will return in glory to reward the faithful. Yet there are sinners in our community. Goodbye. As the high priest, I must select a sinner to sacrifice every season. Five years until Judgment Day. If we are free from sin, he will save us from the suffering. I adore this art style. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <clears throat> okay. So, first things first, let's read the letter. Technological advances. Carl has been waiting to see you. It seems with a few adjustments, House Efferson's whips could be modified with glass and metal to cause more pain in less time. Would you fun experiments? Uh, science is sometimes a worthy cause. You always the best way to let us call these new tools absolvers. Ignorance will suffer. Ignorance will suffer. <clears throat> but, well then... Either way, ignorance is... Okay, we'll call them absolvers. Carl's eyes light up with excitement. Divine inspiration! You hope your people are strong enough to withstand their temptations. Minus 7 ignorance, plus 10 fever. Good, because we had less fever than we do ignorance. <clears throat> so, this is the layout of the game, alright? So we have the cathedral. We got Efferson, Blackborn, Cadwell, Isof... Iosifka? Isofka is how I pronounce it. So I'm going to say it. I'm sorry if it's wrong. Isfoka and Kegni. Basically, each one of these houses represents, at the bottom, the traits. Ignorance, fever, discipline, penitence, and obedience. If you hover over one of these, like obedience, you have improved by and hindered by. So improved by obviously means it goes up. Hindered by means it goes down. The bold words means it goes down or up even more, right? So hindered by, cynical, impulsive, kleptomaniac, rebellious, scattered, or teen. So any of those will cause obedience to go down. You'll see what I mean in a minute. And then it will go up by crawny, elegant, lawful, militaristic, timid, and unquestioning. Of all those, crony and unquest unquestioning will make it go up the most. And kleptomaniac and rebellious will make it go down the least. Because, again, they are uh, bolded. Same with penitence. Or penance, I should say. I apologize. Penance. Uh, discipline, fever, and fer fervor. Not fever, fervor, I believe. And ignorance. So now what you have to do is go through each house, which you can see which one they affect up here. So the pe penance, I will get these pronunciations right, is responsible under the Efferson house. So of everybody in the Efferson house, we have five children or whatever, five underlings and three above lings. You can then inquire them. So what you, what you do to inquire, you have one inquiry remaining here. Is let's begin and let's choose. So since we already know that Fania is unrepentant, uh, Savaltalna is undisciplined, and Tyranny is full of fever. I'm gonna do Tyranny because fever is good. So I could ask, what? Basically, when you say you're full of fever, what trait is that? Because if it's one of the bolded traits, it'll go really up. If it's one of regular ones, you're just regular making fever go up. Or I could ask about the vice. Vice being what? what kind of brings down what trait goes down when you choose that person as an advisor and again you'll see what i mean so 
we have house points. You can see that when you hover over them. Everson is neutral. Blackborn is plus 50, plus 50. Isfoka is plus 25. And Kegney is plus 25. So, Everson, I am going to go under a little bit, but I'm still going. And I could ask about Virtue and exactly what it is, but I want to know what I'm bringing down with Tyranny. So, I'm going to ask Sins. Some Sins feel really good. And it looks like she affects Discipline. So, Discipline will go down. I don't know by how much, but the fact it says full of Fever means it's going to go up. So, there's going to be a balance. So, what I can do is select Tyranny as an advisor. For, <laughs> this is the first time in the series that I almost feel like I'm doing a guide more so than I am experiencing the game. But again, I played this yesterday. I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to lose all that footage. Trust me. So, I'm going to select Tyranny as my advisor. And you can tell that she is based on the greats right here, right? So let's X out of this, and now we know that Fever's going up, but Discipline is going down. So what we're going to do is find someone, let's see, Discipline is Cadwell. So now let's go over to Cadwell. Let's try to find someone that can raise Discipline, and, okay, Discipline, Suzanne. Suzanne Disciplines, I'm going to choose Suzanne. Let's ask about the Vice, I've got more points than I did with Everson and Cadwell, and she is Disobedient. Okay, so now I need obedience. So let's select Suzanne. Now I need to find somebody who's obedient. Who can help out with obedience? Let's see. Isfoka? Ignorant? No. Kegney? No, you're disobedient, full of ever. Okay, so I nobody remaining do I know can help affect uh, obe Ooh, excuse me. obedience. <clears throat> so I'm going to ask Laswell here, or no. Just one of these three, because one of these four, because we know that they, we know that they have, we know what their vice is. So let's ask about their virtue. So let's ask Yvonne. Pentinence. I mean, okay, I'm also going to ask Eden. <clears throat> Fever. Okay, so I have yet to, so I don't think I'm going to be able to find anybody who can affect uh, discipline. But now we know that, oh, wait, no. See, okay, I'm glad I caught that. I don't want two people bringing down discipline. So let's change advisor and let's get this guy because he's bringing down ignorance. So let's X out of that, go over to Kegney. And I thought Kegney, nope, was it the other one? One of these guys has plus ignorance. Danica. Let's ask what Danica's vice is. Oh my word, discipline. Really? Discipline. Okay, so now I have an option here. Um. Well, nobody's bringing down... Well, wait, no, because I think the other guy that I have here... Was it this guy? Yeah, he brings down Ignorance. So I need someone to help Ignorance. So... Or... I could some have someone who brings down... No, because see, I... Fever. Okay. So let's change it to Nadige. Whatever that is. Lagging Fever. So, as of now, we have a... Plus fervor, minus discipline. We have a plus. No, we have a minus fervor. So the fervor is now equal. So right now we're at we're we're at a deficit of discipline. And then discipline goes up, and we're lacking obedience. So okay, that's where we're at. So right now we are just lacking obedience. We need a plus obedient, which. I, Nobody here seems to know. So I'm going to take a risk and put it on Valen. Very good. And then this guy. We might as well appoint Penance on this guy. Well, actually, what's your vice? Knows too much. Ignorance. Come on. Uh, What are you? Ignorance. They're all things I don't want. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's stick with penance, um, because I don't think is anybody helping ignorance. I don't know what you're doing, so we're just gonna call it there, all right? So now begin season. I lost a bunch of house favor, but that's fine. All right, it's the first year. So now we have select one to three advisors. When you choose an advisor, you can see down here that all this is going up. So right here is going up, and all these are going down. So I have penance will go up by a lot, but all these are going to go down a little bit. So if I do this, up, 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 and then all these are going down, I'm okay with that. It could be one to three. I don't need all three. So I'm just going to begin and see what happens. 
Now, when you select begin season, or be, yeah, no, begin month, you, there are different options, I suppose would be the word, of outcomes. So this was an average outcome. Savante scoured the town and found one old world book to burn in a fire, so ignorance went up by five. Penitence encourages more confessors to come forward. Penitence went up by a certain amount. And then ignorance went down a little bit. So it was an up and down. Looks like it was whatever we have the option we have the option here of asking more but either way because we asked a bunch of questions to begin with our kegney standing will go down we're at plus 16 uh yeah how, how much do you affect how much do you affect ignorance minus 20 great all right awesome and you know what? While we're at it, we're at 10. Let's also do virtue. Five for... Not worth it. Okay, so average outcome. Discipline went up by five. Discipline went up some more. Obedience went down quite a bit. Blackborn. Uh, I don't have any... No, I have 47 with you. So how much did you affect this blood? Plus 10. Okay, that's not bad. Next result. And then here we see all the house standings, right? So, Efferson, or, no, I'm sorry, the leader reactions. So, I think this is the house, how they view us. Everybody's either neutral or satisfied. Great. Let's go down to April. And, it's just, and this is the loop. And now we're in the loop. So, let's do, I have no idea who's, oh, fervor. Okay. Good fervor. Uh, let's do, I don't want to bring down linguists all that much. I mean, um, that. The advisor from House Blackboard will oversee law enforcement. And let's do this. Yes. Wait a minute. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. So, we built a monument. Valen urged the laborers in carving and sanding, and a small shrine to our god was crafted for plus five. Behavior had unknown impact. Unknown impact. Begin inquiry. I don't need to. How are you? Plus nine. I don't really care too much. Everything is okay. Obedience is rough, but that's fine. Pentinence goes up. Fervor goes down. Fervor's okay. I can deal with that. Um, virtue rumor. Nedigi is rumored to be penitent. Uh, the personality personally encourages more confessors to come forward. So that went up even more. Perfect. So right now we need more discipline. That's that discipline. Ooh. You ever collect your teeth? Ow. Uh, Efferson has gone down. Okay. Interesting. So we need more discipline and more obedience. Uh, none of these people affect obedience. I'm not going to do you. Like, affect it for the better. So, do we have discipline? Yeah, the one person who does discipline... Also brings down obedience. Well, how are you at 32 out of 100? Uh, uh, let's see. Okay. So that would affect discipline really well. I think this looks good. I think this would be good. All right, let's begin month. Poor outcome, awesome. Awesome, we lost discipline there. Oh, and then we added discipline and obedience went down. Okay, next result. Great outcome. Obedience went up by seven, great. Uh, alright, awesome. Fervor went down, but we have plenty of fervor. Next result. Why is Efferson... Why are you dissatisfied? Uh, transgressions are forgivable. So, this is the, uh, final part of the gameplay loop is you have to sacrifice someone, right? So when you click on them, you have 
three points of interest. You have uncertain virtue. Villagers who trust reputation will feel conflicted and lose penitence. So overall, lose penitence. Uh, penitence. The villagers won't find this sacrifice very inspiring, barely raising their fever. So fever will barely go up. And House Blackborn will be outraged since you don't have any proof. Uh, outrageous, I like proof. Outrageous, I like proof. Know nothing of the transgressions. Uh, transgressions are forgivable. So the ignorance will go up. Actually, everything will go up here. Or no. I'm going to sacrifice this. Just because they're forgi- Well. But see, here's the last thing. You can clean people. Okay? Uh, so I'm actually just going to get rid of... <sighs> Efferson's already sick of me. Let's... No, can't do that. You? Right, let's get rid of you. All right. The night before a new season, a whisper caresses your dream. My faithful servant, I await your devotion. Encourage penance, deserved suffering for moral sins. The perverse one, give her to me. <clears throat> a new season. The nights are pale and short-lived. So we're losing on penance, all right? Uh, a new seasonal advisor from each house. So... We can eventually clean them using this up here on top left, but not yet. All right. So we need penitence. Uh, zealous, neutral, neutral. Oh, wow. They're still neutral, huh? All right. About virtue. Ignorance plus discipline down. Not bad. Unrepentant. That's okay. Let's start with Cadwell. Uh, how disobedient are you? <sighs> Obedience minus 20. Ignorance up. That's not bad. Uh, so let's do ign- But wait a minute. So do we know of anybody who ups, uh, obedience yet? Uh, very well behaved. <laughs> oh, here we go. So Valen, up obedient. Very good. Uh, so yeah, let's just appoint because I need. I, who knows what else he does? We don't. We're not exactly uh, doing great right now on the front of obedience, though. So I would like to clean him of that, but whatever. Full of fever knows too much. Ask about virtue. Ask about vice. How much do you bring down? Minus twenty. Man. 2020. That's rough. Uh, alright. Well, let's, let's see. What would you like to know about? Down on ignorance. Pentant. How much do you bring that up? 15. Alright. So, you. Yeah, so undisciplined. So, we need someone who brings up discipline. Uh, discipline. Now you need someone who brings up obedience. Obedience. Who knows what you bring down. So now we're basically at square zero. Square one, I guess. Uh, ignorant and undisciplined. I don't want too undisciplined. Unrepentant. And I know that we have somebody in here who has penance up. Yeah, this guy who does minus 20. Do we have anyone who brings up ignorance this season? Obedient. The other option, I do that, undiscipline. Because you bring up discipline by 10. All right, we're gonna try this. I'm a little nervous, but that's all right. So, let's. Penance up. See, that doesn't make sense, though, because Penance is also down. Alright, Obedience and Penance are up. Discipline is questionable. So then let's... We don't have anyone to up. Pen... Uh... Up. Oh, this guy also does Penance. I shouldn't have done him. 
Oh, I think I meant to change them. That's all right. All right, so discipline. We don't have any... Oh, wait. Yes, we do. I'm just going to do him. So, average outcome. Yvonne interrogated townspeople. It seems a few parents cons conspired to hide children for the ritual. Yvonne points out a few extra sinners that need punishment. And... Too late to every advisory meeting, mumbling an apology. So, lack of discipline. All down. That's not good. So, then I need... Discipline. That will go down. By a lot. I don't have... Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Okay, so hopefully that will even out. But let's find out. Average outcome, Danica urged the laborers in carving and sanding in the small shrine until the god was crafted. Danica leads the fit. Okay. So we're losing on discipline quite quickly. Alright, so average outcome. That's great. Obedient down. Finish. Okay, alms for the pure. Vicar Efferson argues that priests and penitents shouldn't have to pray, pay for their food. Uh, you can afford... Efferson, how are we doing? Minus 33. Uh, how's Kegney? Kegney is not a big fan, but they're more of a fan than the other one. Alright, continue. And, and we, need, we just need straight up discipline. Obedience will go down so much. We're going to try that. All right. <clears throat> so we saved discipline. Obedience went down some. Not terribly. Not terribly so. Yvonne interrogated townspeople. It seems a few parent... parent yep, yep, yep. Discipline went down a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. So we're still alive. Not by much, but we're alive. <laughs> Alright. Forgivable. Outrage that I lack proof. Outrage are forgivable. Lack proof. Outrage because it was like the last season. You bring up discipline. You don't do a lot. I'm going to sacrifice you. Alright. Uh-oh. I'm getting rebellious. Defying my authority. I must appease them this season or risk revolt. Contagions are spreading. Letter. Your pleased ally, Lord Cadwell, arrives with a gift. May the secret delight prove Cadwell loyalty. The note says unwrapping it. Find an exquisite raspberry cheesecake forbidden under the village's law. Lord Cal's forgiven sugar supplies. Yeah. No, you're not going to be able to bribe me. Hey, discipline went up. Nice. Alright, so the tower. So here we go. Here we can clean, clean people. Cleanse people. Kegney. My cows grow sickly no matter what prayers I say. I don't have any inquiries with you. Uh... So, let's, well, let's not confine anyone quite yet. Uh, obedient, what do you do? Undisciplined. And how much? Generous. Okay, so, that's good to know. Svoka. Oh. Ah, uh, acting strangely. Let's... Sagan, let's confine Sagan. You're acting strangely. Nobody here is acting strangely. Nobody here is acting strangely. You are, but you're confined. That's fine, and that's fine. Okay, so let's get you out there. Confine you. 
And let's... So who did, who have we appointed so far? Nobody? Okay. Athletic and impulsive. <laughs> Low obedience. Okay. Well, do we have anybody who can really raise obedience? So this is... This is Cadwell. Blackborn. Disobedient. I see someone who's obedient. Obedient. Perfect. And what do you bring down? Ignorance. Okay, so let's... Oh, wait. Is this what I want? I think I wanted... Yes. Alright, so... Up, up discipline. Low obedient. Up ignorance. Oh, wait, no. I need obedient. Where, where was it? I don't think it was them. Up obedient, low ignorance. I need her ignorance now. Up ignorance, down discipline. Uh. Was it discipline? Yeah, so now I need up discipline. Obedient, good to know. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do you, and then in Kegney, who's very upset with me right now. Uh, I, sure. I'll help improve the health of our village, so, for now. And then let's confine you, and I, I assume this will remove the vice. Three, there are inmates who haven't been examined or purified. All right, so I don't know what I'm doing here. Visit. Uh, let's see. Examining Sagan will help us understand his contagion. Purifying him may cure his affliction or unexpected results. So let's examine. Let's purify. And let's purify. All right, let's begin season. So how are we doing? We're okay, so let's up and down ignorance, up and down discipline, up and down obedience. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> All right, so great outcome. Fervor plus five, uh, discipline went down a, a fair bit, and this is house what? Isofka? Yeah, I, I, can, I can minus 20 discipline. All right. So discipline plus three, that went up, and then obedience went down by six. So that's pretty okay. Glaslow interrogated townspeople. It seems a few parents. Yep. So obedience went up. Obedience went up. Ignorance went down a little bit. Not a bad season, all things considered. How do I make you happy? How? What, what do you want me to do? Kegney? Do I want me to just choose Kegney? Is that it? Bring down obedience. How are we doing on obedience? Do we have enough? Sure. Let's just choose you then. Great. Obedience went all the way down, but you know what? At least Kegney will be happy. That's fine. Okay. Alright. That really made him happy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, obedient and down ignorance. Ignorance and down discipline. Discipline and down obedience. That's fine. Alright, we lost a little bit, but that's okay. Up obedience, up obedience. Down on ignorance, but that's okay. Yup, alright. Good, 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 good. All right, who are we choosing? Outrage, are forgivable. I have no proof. I lack proof. Are forgivable, and I must be the to Caesar risk revolt. All right, fine, I'll spare you. Uh, let's just get rid of you. Isolka.
All right. Rain freezes and hardens as fall. The tower. Hallucinating. Visit. Uh, we could purify his affliction. Purify you. Really? Scholar minus 30. Let's purify you again. Embezzler minus 30. Let's purify you. Does that not get rid of the vice? Oh! Oh. I bet that increases and decreases by a large amount. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Alright, well, anyways. <laughs> Minus 20. Alright, so all I know need to know is that I need to increase fervor, fervor, which is I have plenty of. This is Blackborn. How am I doing with Blackborn? You guys have kind of just been in the background. Oh, I'm doing more than fine. You know what? Let's actually both you. Uh okay. So you, what do you bring down again? Discipline. By how much? 30? 20. Uh, we, well, do we have anybody who could do ignorance by a lot? All right, so now we just need discipline. All right, and by how much? All right, let's appoint you. I don't know what you bring down, but that's fine. Uh, let's appoint that for penitence. Penance, and let's inquire about virtue athletic. Very good. Feel good about this, possibly. Let's, do we have any mail? No, let's try it. All right. We need a lot of obedience. So, we didn't grab anybody who does obedience. <laughs> okay, um, that'll bring down ignorance by a lot. That'll bring down discipline. Let's try that, let's try that. Okay, not bad. Okay. Not horrible. Yeah, yeah, they're rebellious. Whatever. Let me bring up discipline. Uh, could I just like, how much, how much obedience? A lot? <sighs> well, we need more. That might help. Let's do that. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Next result. Up on obedience. Very good. Penitence. Mumbling an apology. Okay. Now they're dissatisfied. Now, Alright. Now I have to start worrying about Isfolka. What do you bring up? Nobody here helps with discipline. How, why would I do that to myself? Uh, actually, that, that might not be too bad. Honestly, that looks pretty good. Let's try that. Fervor plus three. Extra fervor, lower discipline, poor outcome. Great. All right. Unknown impact, lower penance, higher ignorance. We need more obedience. Yeah, that was my bad. I didn't pay attention to that kind of stuff. 
sacrifice one. I keep forgetting to inquire. Or whatever you want to call it. Investigate. Alright, let's get rid of... Uh, you do good. Uh, honestly? Oh, you were selected last season? Why'd I have to do that? <laughs> uh, either... Kicking your Efferson. I lack proof. I lack proof. I know nothing. I lack proof. Alright, let's just sacrifice you. It's fine. Criminals and rebels openly talk. Of, yeah. Uh, defying my authority. Appease. Appease. Very good. How we doing, boys? Fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right, we have a letter. <clears throat> the guards report dissertation. Savante's grave has been disturbed and his body has been moved in a night. Uh, let's see, encourage fever and something, encourage obedience, encourage ignorance. We need obedience. Very good. Oof, Efferson is not <laughs> happy. No blue blackborn. Yep, that's fine. Efferson. I don't have any inquiries to make. What am I doing? Examine. Inquire. Can't do anything for that. Uh. So you're disciplined at the very least. Let's see. Oh. All right. So you now need higher ignorance. yet. Uh, you're going to bring down discipline by 20. So I need for someone for discipline. Acting strangely? Obedient. Alright. I like you already. And do I have anyone for discipline here? Nope, but I have some for ignorance. Alright, I think this might be the best we'll get this season. Let's go. Alright, full of fervor. So where is... Oh, that's going to bring that down a lot. Ignorance, I don't know what that is though. Uh... Yeah, let's just do it. Ooh, great outcome. Nice. All right. I wonder if I get full any trait. If that'll make it so I win, maybe. I don't know. Discipline. No. That might be good. <clears throat> Kegney. Plus, minus 64. How, how much? All right, not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next result, these should both go up. There we go. And honestly, I'm gonna try the Pentinence again. Let's get that maxed out. K. 
Okay. 100 out of 100. Perfect. We officially did it. Good job, boys. <laughs> rebellious, rebellious. Up, up. Or down, up, down. That's fine. So we have full penance. I don't know if that's a winning thing or not. Convict. Uh... What do you do? That's fine. Just get rid of them. Cadwell. We have enough Cadwell favorability anyways. Oh. I lost because of obedience. Your sermons are unattended. The family is in the bickering until you agree. They should be, you should be exiled. All right. Fine. Return the title. Well, there's the game. Well, that's gonna do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please just hit the like button. Show support gets me motivating more videos just like this one. Uh, that's the Shroud on Isle. I enjoy it. Happy December 9th. Happy Saturday. And other than that, remember to summer someone loves you, even if they don't know it yet. Take care, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. And goodbye. <laughs>